In this video, we will learn how to create this geometric low poly photo effect using Photoshop actions in Photoshop CS6 Extended. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are going to create this geometric low poly photoshop photo effect and uh, pretty much simple and easy and have a decent look so before we start let me just show you how we can create this uh, create a selection around your uh, character or whatever you want to create effect on and after that when you apply the final output will be look like this this is not look like so interesting because not every image fits for each effect so let's just look uh, another example this is the very high resolution image and uh, creating selection applying effect and that is the final output so look at this uh, I, I really love this effect and uh, let us have an another example so this one looks great First of all, create a selection around this. Uh, let's just make it 100%. Sorry, it's uh, normal. Mm, now it looks great too. So, after applying our low body actions, the final result will be look like this. So, I really love this basically. So, turn this off and let's just play this. This is the final setting which I have uh, applied on. You can create your desired uh, lines or we can say geometric lines and uh, without wasting your time let's just start and close these uh, extra PSDs now uh, delete this one this one this one and this one also so this is our main image on which we are working on and uh, before we start anything just go to edit purge and there it there is you will see that all so it is click on all so what it will do is uh, it will actually erase all of all the memory inside your photoshop which you have used for previous psds or previous works or previous steps so the photoshop action will work more faster so click on ok now go to edit purge and video cache same thing for same this uh, for same uh, work and now when you will download your geometric low poly photoshop actions you will see that there will be a file named low poly ps actions when you will extract that there will be a folder open that folder you will see that there is a brush file there is a pattern file and there is a photoshop actions file so how to install them there is a simple process just go to edit preset preset manager from the preset manager go to load you will see that this folder just open that folder and you will see the photoshop brushes so click on geometric and low poly brushes and click on load as i already loaded these so i don't need to load them again and then go to patterns same work just click on load low poly photoshop open this folder and you will see that there is a geometry and low poly uh, patterns so click and load as i already load them so i also don't need to load them also so click on done after that go to windows go to actions from the actions I just close this from the actions go to this icon drop down and click on load actions same open the folder you will see that there is a geometry and low poly photoshop action just click on load as I already loaded them so don't pay worry about that and after that just collapse this panel create a new layer name this layer as brush Keep in mind it is in lowercase and press enter to accept this setting and then simple work is go to your quick selection tool or which tool you want to use for selection so create sorry uh, this is a wrong uh, select your background layer and create a come on create a rough selection that's great now select your brush layer and select any type of color for as a foreground color like red or green or blue or yellow whatever you like I'm using green color 
so press alt plus backspace to fill it with green color and you will see that there is a field layer now the only thing is left go to your actions and extract this so you will see what's going on in these actions before start just go to edit purge and check if the purge is selected if not just click on all hit ok ok so the, all the memory is erased now just click on play the action and it will start it works so click and play the action and wait for the process to complete its work ok so during this process you will see that a message comes up with in this step you need to set the cell size it depends on your photo size and resolution recommended value between 100 to 300 press continue to set so what we need to do is we will just need to give some values uh, how much uh, the size of each cell uh, or we can say the each polygon so in simple step just click on continue you will see that there is a setting and uh, just zoom it out to check if it is nice if it is not nice just click on anywhere else you want to change the size you want to smaller size or bigger size usually it looks more decent on bigger size so we'll press on 150 and click on ok and wait for the process to complete it to complete its work okay so the process is complete just need to close this and make it side and just go to the top we just don't need these and go to the top press ctrl alt and click to close all this folder at once then click on this top folder and click on this background folder press ctrl and g it's just my uh, my desire to do this you can do whatever you like to do so and uh, just close this and make it little maybe 75 so from here you can just change out your uh, colors we can say that uh, colors look at this come on blue green and red that's nice or whatever what you can do more is you can uh, actually add some more colors like uh, create a new layer press B you will see that uh, selecting your foreground color as black you will see that you can create actually more uh, is it 100% more of its geometric uh, things look at this you it's all depend on you uh, look at this it looks more interesting more decent look to our image so I hope you like this video and this tutorial and uh, uh, all these files are given in the description bar so you need to know is to download them and link is given in the description bar and don't forget to subscribe hit like this video and share it to your friends and also subs don't forget to subscribe this little light but uh, red button and uh, don't forget to subscribe and also click on this bell button so you could get a notification when we will upload a new video or new tutorial and coming soon uh, my website will be launched so you can get more of stuff like mockups uh, PSDs templates and free of cost stock images so it all it's all for you it's free of cost and uh, i hope you like this video never stop and keep learning